Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Fun Fishing Frenzy. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make non-return slides. And uh, before we start with the video, I'd like to thank everyone that's uh, supported us so far. And uh, for all those that have liked our videos, especially the guys that have commented and subscribed, we really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we really hope that you'll in, uh, enjoy the videos that are, are going to come up. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these uh, non-return slides at home. And uh, the material you will need is a 1.6 millimeter stainless steel uh, wire. Uh, I have TIG wire here, but uh, you can also use spring steel, which is much better. But TIG wire also works. We've caught a few fish on it, and uh, yeah, it, it's uh, able to pull fish and it doesn't open up. The slide is strong. Uh, you also need a wall sinker. For sliding live baits, uh, you would. Some guys don't use a sinker on the slides, but. Uh, we use uh, either a quarter ounce or half ounce ball sinker, uh, a bead. The bead I'm, uh, I'm using is uh, a glow in the dark one, so in the nights if you are sliding, then you can also shine your light onto this and watch your slide go down. And a power servo. The size is up to you. The smaller you go, the better it is. Okay, and to uh, to bend this wire, you have to make a jig. So after watching this video, if you are interested in making uh, your own slides. Drop a comment down if you want to see how I make this jig. Okay guys, so uh, before we actually get into making the slide, I just want to show you the jig quickly up close. So it's just two pieces of wood. I've got a thick dowel here and a flat piece of wood on top that I've needled uh, together. And there's a screw on one side and this is a 7mm drill bit that I've uh, put in here. With the spiral on it. Now the spirals, uh, you don't have to make them. If you have old slides like this, you can just cut the spiral off it and use it. The reason why my spiral is uh, so long is because I prefer doing five turns instead of four turns. It's just a personal preference thing. Um, you don't have to do five turns, but also I do five turns because my bead that's uh, 1.2 centimeters long fits in there perfectly. So yeah, so to start off, let's grab a plier. So to start off, you're gonna make a little hook here. Just like that. Okay, that hook's gonna hook into your screw there. It's gonna clip into your bottom part of your spiral. And keeping it firm, you're gonna turn your wire. Try and keep your wire as tight as possible so that you get all your uh, rings of your spiral even. Okay, and when you're done with your spirals, just make sure you get a good angle on it. And if you can see that there, so when you're bending it back, uh, your wire actually sits perpendicular to your rings on your spiral. I'm just gonna make sure that that's right. Okay, you take it off, just take your drill bit off, and you wind the spiral off it. You have it guys so that's your spiral neat you can see it's all in line straight so yeah that's the part that's the most intimidating to guys but it's not that hard as you can see right so here comes one of the most tricky parts to me i would say is bending the spire back so that it sits perpendicular to your spirals <sighs> This will take a bit of practice, so 
when you are doing this do take your time and uh, yeah try and get it as perfect as you can So there you go guys, all straight and in line. Okay, next up after that, <clears throat> this will also have to use your discretion, but uh, I'll try and put up uh, a drawing on the screen with the measurements of the slide. Okay, so uh, towards the end of the video, I'll put that up. And you can probably screenshot that if you wanna try and make the slides as well. So I'm gonna grip the long end of the wire and bend it backwards 90 degrees okay just like that and then after bending that 90 degrees so how i measure where to put my clip on my slide is after bending your wire 90 degrees just slightly above where the wire crosses, I'm going to grip the wire there with my plier, just like that. And then bend and make your clip. Okay, to cut this uh, wire off, I've got a pair of side cutters, but uh, bolt, uh, bolt cutters do work better. So try not to leave it too long. Okay guys, but we'll have to cut that. <laughs> right, so yeah, after doing that, normally what I do is I, I push the clip on right, and then I take another plier, bigger plier, and I close it. Right, that's your spiral. That's your spiral done now. Not that hard, right? All straight, all in line. Looks lovely. Right, next up comes the bead. Let me just turn this off here so the bead can put on. Right, so here's your bead. I want to show you all. Like I said, this bead fits perfectly in between my spirals. So what this bead does is, uh, especially because I'm using TIG wire, uh, also guys, if anyone uh, knows where I can get uh, spring steel farm, please drop a comment. I, we would really appreciate it. And yeah, but the TIG wire does work. And because I'm using TIG wire, it's a bit soft. Slightly softer than spring steel. So, um, the bead also helps when you hook a fish. Uh, helps your slide from not squashing. So you can't squash it. And also helps it from not getting uh, undone. So, yeah. So from there onwards, uh, I'm going to measure six, six centimeters. Now your slides can normally be a bit longer, but um, like I said, because I'm using TIG wire, I make it as short as possible. So the wire is more rigid. So I'm going to measure six centimeters. And that's where we're going to put our loop. If we're doing that, let's put our ball sink on. Okay, and the six centimeters is from your clip to the end. So that's around there. Okay, now to make your loop, you can use pliers, but I made the simple jig. It's just a piece of wood, but two nails knocked into it. 
but one's a lot stronger than the other one. So what's going to happen here is we have marked my six centimeters at the end there. I'm going to place it in here. Okay, and I'm going to make the loop. So I'm going to wrap it around. And take it all the way around, guys. Okay, you get a nice loop like that. Thereafter, you want to put your swivel in and bend this loop back against each other. And, guys, this loop here the smaller you make it, the stronger it actually is. So I normally go around that size, it's, it's almost the same size as uh, the loop on your swivel. So yeah. And to finish it off, um, you can silver solder it, it's a bit costly by the time you purchase a, a blowtorch and your silver soldering rod with the flux and whatever. So I just bend it off, which is quite strong. I mean, I haven't opened one as yet. So it's pretty strong for me. So to bend it off, I'm just gonna take the wire back around itself, keeping it as tight as possible. Okay, so minimum uh, one and a half times to say, I'll say maximum maybe three times you can up the salon. Okay, then you just cut off the tag in. Okay, finish it off a bit neatly. Bend it down properly. And then <coughs> your bend. So some guys like it likes, uh, likes your their slides um, bend closer to the spiral. Some guys will prefer it just in the middle. So I have had slides bent uh, closer to the spiral before. I haven't seen a difference. So I'm just gonna measure approximately halfway and put my bend. Okay guys, so there you have it, your DIY homemade non-return slide, it's neat, it's, it's strong, it's pretty strong, uh, we have got a few fish in it, I'm going to put that in the video as well, and uh, yeah, hope you guys uh, get creative, it does uh, save you a few bucks, and uh, it's fun. And, uh, you know, I have much more slides now, now that I've been making my own. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you'll enjoy the video. Um, please uh, like and share it if uh, you want to show someone else uh, how they could make their own slides as well. And, uh, yeah, subscribe. There's a lot of content coming through. So, yeah, we really do hope you'll enjoy the videos. And uh, stay tuned. <coughs> Our next uh, video, where I'm going to show how to make your own solid things without uh, welding or uh, silver soldering it closed. It's a little trick I've learned. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, thanks to everyone that's been uh, watching our videos and uh, supporting us, our family, friends, everyone else, the guys that have come greeted us uh, on the rock as well. We really do appreciate it. And yeah, so we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.